There's a certain yellow book you'll find on the shelves of most major tech companies. I've seen it at Facebook, Google, PayPal, and Slack. It's given out at tech conferences and company training events. A friend working at Microsoft told me the CEO, Satya Nadella, held up a copy and recommended it to all of the company's employees. The book, Hooked, How to Build Habit-Forming Products, was a Wall Street Journal bestseller and, at the time of this writing, still ranks as the number one book in the products category on Amazon. It's a cookbook of sorts. The book contains a recipe for human behavior, your behavior. These tech companies know that in order to make money, they need to keep us coming back. Their business models depend on it. I know this because I've spent the past decade researching the hidden psychology that some of the most successful companies in the world use to make their products so captivating. For years, I taught future executives at both the Stanford Graduate School of Business and at the Hasso Plattner Institute of Design. In writing Hooked, my hope was that startups and socially concerned companies would use this knowledge to design new ways of helping people build better habits. Why should the tech giants keep these secrets to themselves? Shouldn't we use the same psychology that makes video games and social media so engaging to design products to help people live better lives? Since Hooked was published, thousands of companies have used the book to empower their users to build helpful and healthy habits. FitBod is a fitness app that helps people build better exercise routines. Bite Food seeks to change people's eating habits with internet-connected pantries that offer locally made fresh meals. Kahoot builds software to make classroom learning more engaging and fun. In fact, I love the way Kahoot and Bite Foods use my book so much that I decided to invest in both companies. We want our products to be user-friendly, easy to navigate, and yes, even habit-forming. Companies making their products more engaging isn't necessarily a problem, it's progress. But of course, there's a dark side. As philosopher Paul Virilio wrote, when you invent the ship, you also invent the shipwreck. In the case of user-friendly products and services, what makes some products so engaging and easy to use can also make them distracting.